Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the person that you are currently separated from. We're going to see what this person wants you to know since you've been gone. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. And I want to thank all of you that have been donating to our channel and those of you that have become Mystic members. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what this person wants you to know currently is boredom. We also have the Empress. And we have this message that came out in reverse stating, I didn't value your time and effort, okay? Now, there's a few things going on here. So whatever situation this person is dealing with, whether they're in a relationship with someone else or even if they're single, this person is bored, okay? So if they're with someone else, they've grown bored of that person. If they're single, I just feel like this person has not met anyone to spark their interest, okay? So this person is very bored right now. Also, with this card coming out stating, I didn't value your time and effort in, re in reverse, it lets me know that this person, they may not have valued your, um, they may not have valued you when they were with you, okay? But they're starting to recognize your worth now, especially with the Empress being here, whether you're a male or a female, this person sees you in a very good light, okay? They are realizing no one else can compare to you because there's only one Empress and one Emperor in the deck. They feel as though you are a divine feminine or a divine masculine. This person feels as though um, whatever they're dealing with right now, it cannot even stand next to you or whoever they're dealing with can't stand next to you, okay? This person sees you as someone that they could have been very happy with. They're also realizing how nurturing you are, how good of a um, heart that you have or how good of a person you are. If the two of you happen to have kids together, they do see you as a good mother or a good father. Okay, if you don't have kids together and if they have kids, they feel as though you would have been a very good um, role model for their children or someone that their kids can look up to. Okay, but yeah, this person, they feel as though no one else can compare to you. And I feel like they're bored because like I said, whatever situation they're dealing with right now, they've taken a loss and they're realizing the loss. Okay, the Empress is a huge loss. Okay. You have to be a fool to lose an empress. All right. We also have um, at the top of the deck, Jaded. And we have nothing has been the same since you've been away. Wow. So that's confirmation. So for some of you, because this person hasn't been able to find you and anyone else, okay, they're a little jaded because they feel as though things have not been the same for them ever since you left or ever since they left you, okay? This is someone that has realized that you can't be replaced and it's making them feel some type of way here. Okay, oh my goodness. So I'm gonna leave those two cards here. All right, so let's tap a little further or a little deeper into this overall energy. So yeah, when it comes to this person, I feel as though um, they're waiting to be happy again, all right? For some of you, I do feel as though this person wants to reconcile with you, okay? But whatever situation they got themselves in, they thought that it was going to bring them happiness. But now they're gaining clarity, realizing that they want to come back together and work things out with you. But they feel like you're leaving the past in the past or leaving them in the past. They feel like you're not interested in um, reconciling with them, okay? Whatever situation they got themselves into after you left or they left you, they feel, the, they, they feel as though there's a lack of collaboration in that situation, okay? Like they're not able to make things work with that other person or they're not able to find someone that um, they can make things work with. Yeah, they feel like you've cut them out, okay? They also feel as though you, um, they feel like, for one, this person put you through a lot, okay, in the past. 
but at the same time they feel as though the things that you um that they put you through before even if the two of you were to reconcile you would never deal with that now okay they feel as though they destroyed this connection but they still are hopeful that um somehow things will end up coming back together for the two of you now for some, there may have been a third party that destroyed this connection, this person cheating, maybe them, either they were cheating, partying too much, um, spending too much time with friends or friends may have interfered in the connection or this person may have had like a toxic habit. Um, there's a lot of sexual energy here with other people. Okay. I feel like they were doing things behind your back. Hmm. But yeah. They're hoping that one day the two of you will be able to come back together again. And so they're actually waiting for reconciliation between the two of you. They're waiting for that. They're still in love with you. They're still in love with you. And they're hoping that the two of you can be a family in the future. This person, they want to romance you. They want to come toward you and maybe go out on a date. But I do feel as though they've been holding back when it comes to you. Or they also they may feel as though you're going to hold back if they were to come toward you. And it's mainly because this person, they made a lot of bad decisions in the past. Hmm. They feel like decisions that they've made... Um affected you in a very deep or strong way and so they feel like they wouldn't be able to get their way with you if they were to come toward you they think a lot about good times between the two of you whatever they chose whatever decisions they made it's all they feel stuck they feel stuck in it so it's almost like you made your bed now lay in it or lie in it so, yeah, this person, they feel like whatever situation or whatever actions they took, whatever decisions that they made, that it caused them to be stuck. They feel like they didn't think things through or um, something of that nature. They don't want you to move on from them. They're hoping that you think about them just as much as they think about you. There was definitely some third party energy here. I feel like this person put you through so much that they may have made you feel cold hearted at some point. Or um, it could be that this person, um, they know that you're not going to tolerate any heartbreak, any third party energy or anything like that. For some of you, there may have been something hurtful um, spoken. There may have been something that you said to this person that hurt them deeply. But whatever you said, it was facts. It was the truth. But whatever you said, they think about it a lot. They're still in love with you, but they feel as though they destroyed this connection. Okay? They feel like they destroyed things. So they feel as though... It's completely over with. I feel like this person acts as though they're okay. But in reality, they're all in their feelings. Especially if you moved on. Okay. Um, they still have very strong emotion for you. I feel like this person. Um, they're, they also have a very toxic way of loving. Okay. Very toxic way of loving. This person may have told lies to people to make themselves seem like they were righteous or that they um, were doing right by you when in reality they weren't. For some of you, this person would manipulate you on an emotional level. They would maybe even say things to um, hurt your feelings or to put you in your feelings. Very toxic energy here. I feel like... Um, this person also was obsessed with how people saw them and things such as that, okay? But yeah, this person, they're hoping that over time, um, they're hoping that over time that they'll be able to find another option that can um, compare to you, but... With the seven of cups here, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Mm. So, yeah, this person, um, they did a lot. 
They did a lot and they feel like you've turned your back completely on them. But they're still hoping that the two of you will be able to come together. They're regretting whatever they did. For some of you, they regret if they're with someone else, they regret getting with that person. If they got married to someone else, they regret it. Okay. They're not satisfied. This is also a card of boredom. So whoever they're with, they're not satisfied in that connection. They, like I said, they're bored. Also seems as though it's not fulfilling for them. They regret getting with this person. They feel as though they should have rejected what this person was offering them. Okay. Ugh. They fight a lot, them and that other person. They may fight about money. They may fight about bills. Hmm. But they fight a lot. They're starting to see that other person differently and they're having another perspective when it comes to you. It's like they're wishing they would have fought for this or that that they would have um or that they were they wish that they were able to change your perspective of them so you would have wanted to fight for this connection more. But I feel like you put up, you know, put up with a lot. I feel like you endured a lot in this connection but this person they were just shorthanded like they came well they came they gave you the short end of the stick okay they feel like you're detached now okay but they still want a new opportunity with you oh there's a lot going on with this person a lot going on so yeah they're feeling some type of way because i feel like they thought that Either they thought that being single was going to be, they were going to have the time of their life. Or they thought that whoever else they got with, if they're in a relationship, they thought that that was going to be the best thing ever. And now they're feeling some type of way because it didn't turn out the way they thought it would. And I feel like this person puts up a front, like I said before, in the overall energy, I feel like um, if they're with someone else... They try to, that couple, they try to appear to be, um, they try to appear like they're happy in public or like they're succeeding or the relationship is good, but behind closed doors, it's very toxic, very toxic. And they're not happy. My goodness. All right. So let's see what else comes out. I'm going to be using the Love and Separation deck by Oracle Mystique, the Avatar High Priestess. You guys definitely check out her channel. I will leave a link to her channel as well as a link to her Etsy shop in case you guys are interested in getting, excuse me, interested in getting these cards. Okay. I don't know what happened with my voice then. But yeah, definitely check her out. Subscribe to her. She's a magnificent reader. Okay. She's awesome. So let's go ahead and tap into this and get a few more messages. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to this person. What do they want my viewers to know currently since they've been gone? What do they want my viewers to know since my viewers have been apart from them? Two more shuffles. Hmm. Someone lost an empress or an emperor. Emperor. Fool you. They gotta be a fool. All right. I couldn't handle your honesty. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading. I'm just, I'm just kidding, guys. All right. Look, once I'm not telling you guys that you said something that hurt this person and whatever you said, it was facts. It was the truth. I couldn't handle your honesty. So this is someone that wanted to be in la la land they wanted you to pretend they wanted you to turn a blind eye to things they wanted you to pretend um as though everything was good they wanted to sweep things under the rug they couldn't handle when you were honest they couldn't handle it oh my goodness thank you for the confirmation spirit this person is also hoping at some point the two of you will be able to compromise and come back together they're telling me take this card hidden motives okay so i feel like they couldn't this person may have been doing things behind your back um they may have um been hiding secrets but regardless whatever you said you exposed them okay so they may have been trying to hide, tell you lies, to hide what they were doing, okay? 
and they weren't able to get over on you. They weren't able to get over on you. Give me more, Holy Spirit. What else does this person want my viewers to know currently since my viewers have been away from them? So we have two more that came out. Let's see. I only cared about what you could do for me. So for some of you, okay, you may have felt like this person was using you, whether it was using you to... um to make themselves feel better, like to boost their ego or using you financially. But whatever um, hidden motives they had, you uncovered it, okay? But yeah, at the time or during some point in the relationship, this on, this person was very selfish. They only cared about themselves. Ugh, I wish I could hurt. I wish I could hurt you like you hurt me. Wow. So this person was vindictive. They were vindictive. And for some of you, if they got into a relationship with someone else, they did it to try to jade you, but they ended up um they ended up falling in the hole that they dug for you. Okay. I wish I could hurt you like you hurt me. Wow. And I feel as though it's because they're vindictive or they were vindictive when the two of you walked away from each other because they could no longer use you. This is very narcissistic. Very narcissistic. How dare. Oh, my goodness. They have a lot of nerve. I keep tabs on you from afar. So this person, they keep tabs on you. So they're trying to see if you're happy. If they tr they're trying to see what you have going on. We know that they're not happy. Okay, so they keep tabs on you from a distance. And for those of you, if you are happy or whenever you um, because remember, the Empress is attractive. So they're still attracted to you. So if you have social media or if this person sees you out and about or something of that nature, whatever they're seeing, it makes them feel some type of way. It hurts them to see you doing good without them, to see you elevating, to see you have leveled up. Hmm. Ooh, I'm getting mad. <laughs> I'm getting pissed off. All right. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me another message in regards to what this person wants my viewers to know currently. I hate that you're no longer with me. So this person, see, as I was saying before, they hate that you're happy without them. So they hate that you're no longer with them. This did come out crossing. So that lets me know that they try to pretend that they don't care. They try to pretend that they're good with or without you. When in reality, they're, they're feeling some type of way. At the bottom of the deck, this is how I've always been. So this person, I feel as though they have some narcissistic characteristics. I feel like this person, whatever they did to you, this isn't their first go round. They've hurt other people before as well. Okay. Give me another message for what this person want my, wants my viewers to know currently since they've been gone. All right. Let me be better for you. Wow. So this person that fell out on top of, I wish I could hurt you like you hurt me and let me be better for you. Okay. I feel like with hurting, I wish I could hurt you the, like you hurt me. I feel like you hurt their ego. But for some of you, this person may try to come back around, um, Telling you that they want to work things out. That it'll be better this time around. Hmm. Very wishy-washy energy. Look at this on top of the deck. Mind games. So keep in mind if this person comes back around. It's all mind games. And I know it's mind games. Because Hidden Motives is here. So it, it's all mind games. This person will try to make you think they'll be better this time around, but it, it, they're going to be playing games. So don't fall for it. Whew, let me get two more cards and then we're going to end the reading. Give me two more cards. Holy Spirit. Thank you. We have without you, I am nothing. Wow. So this person is saying they're nothing without you. Okay. Hmm. I'm nothing without you. Without you, I am nothing. 
So this person feels as though, I feel like for some of you, you made this person look good. You made them, um, you know, you brought, you brought something to the table. A lot of you were the table. Okay. Like you, this person, I feel like. I feel like you made this person look better and or look as though they they had it all together when they really didn't. OK, there's something that you played in making this person appear um, better than what they were, whether it's you having a good heart and being with this person and people are like, OK, well, you know. They can't be all that bad or, you know, for some of you, you may have tried to make people think that things were good when things really weren't. Okay. Oh my goodness. Give me one more card. Holy Spirit to end this reading. What is this person? I want my viewers to know currently since my viewer has been gone. Mm, 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 mm. This is so narcissistic. But you came out on top because you are the overall energy as the empress. You will, you cannot and will not be replaced. That's all there is to it. All I know is pain. So hurt people hurt people, right? And you don't want anyone hurting you. So you don't want to deal with someone that knows only pain. It doesn't read all I know is love and pain or... You know, all I know is pain. So someone that only knows pain, all they know how to do is hurt people. They will project their pains onto you, their traumas onto you. This is someone that's trauma. They have a lot of traumas. All I know is pain. And that fell out on top of I only cared about what you can do for me. And I wish I could hurt you like you hurt me. That is sick. Sick individual. At the bottom of the deck, I feel as if I wasted the best parts of myself. For some of you, this may be your energy. Okay? Because right beside it is this love was a lesson. So, take this as a lesson. Okay? If any of you feel as though you wasted the best parts of yourself dealing with this person or that this connection just took a lot out of you, try not to feel that way. I know it's easier said than done, but... You can empower yourself by knowing that this love, it was a lesson, okay? This is something that, um, and with lessons come blessings, right? So don't, try not to feel as though you wasted your time or you wasted the best part of yourself because some of you gave this person a lot of love. You were very nurturing. You were very good to them. And I feel as though they did a number on you, okay? But, um... Nothing is wasted when there are lessons learned. Nothing is wasted when there are lessons learned. Also, it states, I cannot find your level of intimacy anywhere else. So the love, the nurture, the 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 nurturing um vibes that you gave this person, they can't find it anywhere else. That's why they feel jaded. That's exactly why they feel jaded. Mm, 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 mm. For some of you, they may come back towards you asking if the two of you can be friends or just wanting to be friends. All right. But keep in mind that all this person knows is pain. You don't need a, a friend like that. You know, this sounds like a, a enemy to me, an enemy. This love was definitely a lesson for this person. So, yeah, you taught this person a lesson. You really did. I feel like um, you taught this person that when God sends you a blessing, okay, blesses you with someone as good as an empress or an emperor, you don't mess that up, okay? That's why they're not going to find anyone else like you. That's their karma. Oh, my goodness. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, 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 so much. 
You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.